We're underway. Off and one and two right now. Early advantage. B.J. Rogers in the 37 machine. Garrett Coleman there in second. Then Garrison Hillbrink side by side. Williams. Here comes Garrett Hager. Hager now going to go to the inside of Mark Norman and three wide momentarily. Hager, only car working down to the bottom side through three and four up in the front handful. Lap number one, it's B.J. Rogers. Off into one and two they go. Hager now fishing around the bottom. He'll move it up a lane. Oh, Coleman around in front of the field. He'll go to the infield. We stay green. Good save there by the 2K of Garrett Coleman. That's going to give Garrett Hager that third spot. Then a battle back in the pack between Hillbrink. Oh, and around goes Spencer Hillbrink. And he gets a couple cars. And caution comes out. Our green flags in the air. We're racing once again. And here comes Daniel Irwin. Good jump. He'll take him three wide. Simino to the outside. Norman in the middle. Irwin down around the bottom. Coleman now gets pushed up the track. Here comes the three. Car battle now down the back straightaway. Oh, hold on. B.J. Rogers. Big cluster up front battle for the lead. Rogers. Coleman. Oh, B.J.'s got an issue. Garrett Hager, your new leader. Well, Rogers not sure what the issue is, but he Kind of messed up the 2K and 6X's chance there. Now BJ's up off the back, so Cody Williams will move up into second. Coleman back to third. And around goes Garrett Coleman. He'll spin in front of the pack. Everybody gets through. Never mind. He's back in the air. Off into one and two they go. Good side-by-side -side action. BJ Rogers and Brady Binkin. Rogers slides up the track, opens the door for Tay, then Burkhart. Burkhart's now side by side. That's for fourth. Give it to Burkhart. And again, up off the back goes Rogers. Comes back on three wide battle. Garrison, Russell, and Rogers. He'll now fall back into the clutches of Shea Simino. Simino now to the bottom side of Lyle Russell. B.J. Rogers is going to go top to bottom, trying to make a pass on that three-car battle. Garrison, Russell, and Simino. Right now, your leader, the Wild Child, Garrett Hager, Cody Williams, and Brady Bacon, your top three cars. Bacon, get up into the back bumper there a little bit through three and four. He's trying to find a way around the 77 of Williams. Down the back stretch, they're going to run through three and four now. Garrett Hager still in command of this one. Cody Williams, Brady Bacon, as they're going to do battle there for that second spot. Then back in fourth is Taylor Burkhart. Then it's Shea Simino, Roger Garrison, Lyle Russell, B.J. Rogers right now, Daniel Irwin, Joel Dix, Mark Normandin, Kent Tamman, Spencer Hilbring, Skyler Wiseman, Trevor Schmidt, Roberta Normandin, and Wyatt Forshee. That's your field as they work around the 3 8 mile oval. That is the RPM Speedway. Working through one and two down the back straightaway of the battle for second. Williams has Binken by a car length as they work off into three and four now. Binken closes the gap a little bit. Now he's going to take it low out of turn four. Taking a peek down to the bottom side on the front stretch. Off into one and two. They're going to run. Binken again going to climb the ladder, go right into the tire tracks. Now we'll drop it down to the bottom on exit at turn number two. Down the back stretch they'll run. That is the battle for your second spot. Little look back in the pack battle for your sixth position. Lyle Russell trying to find something to get around. Oh, there goes Cody Williams. Got some steam coming out. And caution comes out. So I'm guessing that was smoke, and that's the power plant that went away on the 77 of Williams. Flags waving. We're racing once again. Now it's going to be a good battle up front as here comes Binken right to the back bumper. Not going to let off and wanted to. Just as I say that, Hager able to gap him by three car lengths down the back straightaway. But here comes Brady. Going to drive it into three and four. This is going to be for the lead. Binken car length back right in the tire tracks of Garrett Hager around the top side of three and four. Now the battle for your third spot is on as here comes Shea Simino. Cars get stacked up over in one. Kent Tamman, he's got sparks coming out the back of that machine, so that's going to be a caution. Not sure what happened there, but sparks coming out of the back of the 23 of Tamman, so that'll end his night. On the wheel, green flags in the air. Here we go.
So off into one and two, they're gonna run. Top two pull away from the pack now, Burkhardt and Semino. So top four get cleared three wide as here comes Lyle Russell up the middle. He splits Rogers now trying to work on Roger Garrison as they work through three and four. Now battle for the lead, here comes Brady Bacon, drops the nose, can't quite get anything to happen. As Bacon gonna go right to the tire tracks through one and two. It's Hager and Caution gonna come out in turn number four. And looking for the green flag in the air. We're racing one more time. Green flag for the Hobby Stocks. Off into one and two they go. Bink into the back bumper. Let's see if he can hang out of two. No. Garrett Hager going to pull away by a full car length down the back straightaway. Burkhart gets clear. Then Simino's got to deal with the 22R Lyle Russell cross flags. Halfway done. Ten more circuits for Garrett Hager. Off into one and two, your top two go. Hager and Bacon separated by a car length. Now Garrett's going to open up to about two out of turn number two. Down the back straight away, though. Here comes Bacon. He'll close it back down. And right now, 34, Wyatt Forshe trying to get to the infield. He does. We stay green. Good job there, Wyatt. We're working through one and two now down the back straight away. And from everybody's reaction, I'm guessing a car went up off the top of turn number one, so that'll be a caution yet again. And that's the 6X of Roger Garrison up off the top of turn number one. His car is rolling, so he'll climb it back up the hill and rejoin the field. 11 done, 9 to go. Green's in the air. Off into one and two, Binkin slides her up the hill, and Garrett Hager back up on point. Binkin on the attack again, drives it in deep, slide job, and Hager. Right to the back bumper, Brady Binkin, your new leader. Off into one and two, they go, that's the battle for the lead, Brady Binkin, Garrett Hager. Hager's got a nose working to the inside, down the back stretch they run. Here comes Garrett Hager, going to check the basement through three and four. Binkin running up around the outside. New leader back on point, Hager, but at the strike, Binkin's able to take it back. Off into one and two, they go. Fastest car that time around, Garrett Hager, and around goes Garrett Hager. Oh, green flag's back in the air, and we're underway once again. Three wide is now it's going to be interesting watching the wild child make his way from back up to the front. Oh, and he's going to get into Mark Normandon. Down the back stretch, he'll run. He'll get clear of that slow group. Normandon's got an issue, maybe a flat tire. Brady Binkin able to scoot away from the field now. He's got three car lengths back to Tathan Burkhart and Shea Simino. So it's Binkin, Burkhart, Simino, Russell, Dix, Hillbrink, Irwin, and Hager, your top handful. As Mark Normandon took it into the pits. Everybody getting strung out. Hillbrink now going to go to the bottom side of Daniel Irwin. Right behind them, well, it's the wild child, Garrett Hager. He's closing in on those two cars as they now work off into one and two. Hager going to go to that top shelf through one and two. He's going to pick off Hillbrink. Down the back stretch, they run. Your leader working through three and four and out of the front straightaway. It's Brady Bacon. Got two car lengths back to Taylor Burkhart as they work now the front straightaway. Here comes Garrett Hager. Going to go to the outside of Daniel Irwin and one and two. Can't really make it happen. He'll fall back in line. Now down the back straightaway, he'll get a good run and go right to the back bumper of Irwin. Off through three and four, they run up front. Burkhart maybe inching a little bit closer to that top spot. He's got it cut down now. Just as I say that, he kind of goes a little high on exit and slips back up. Hager now working on Joel Dix down the back straightaway. And Garrett Hager going to take that spot away. So the Wild Child will move back up into the top five. It's Binken, Burkhart, Semino, Russell, Hager, your top five. Laps are winding down, though, for Taylor Burkhart there in second. And one more lap to go for Brady Binkin.
Down the back straightaway, final time here for the never-ending hobby stock race. Through three and four, checkered flags out, it's Brady Binkin. Stay on. What do you think of that? That was awesome. You know, uh, there's a pretty good race there going on for first and second for a long time. Yeah, it's hard to get around Hager when he gets that, gets to the lead that quick, but I knew I had to take my chance with the slider, so I did her. Uh, what do you think of the racetrack tonight? It was good. A lot of moisture. Um, can't complain for all the rain we've had in the past couple weeks, so thanks for everybody coming out. Thanks to all my sponsors. Um, thanks for everybody helps on the car. One last question. You going to Boone? Uh, I don't know. Give us the work no one else wants to do. We don't just go against the grain, we grow it. Give us the frontiers, the places where success is measured and pushed limits. Give us the middle of nowhere, where the only map is your buddy's tread marks. This life, no one's born ready for it. For KM ATVs and UTVs, contact Briny Motorsports in Hayes.